All right, you see I have the Blackstone Grill out today and I'm cooking up all the chicken thighs for the week as well as some sausage for my daughter. Now, here we go and we have some great spices and of course my big old spatula to take care of the business. Hi, this is John and welcome back to Mr. America Heart. Listen, the question that I was asked regarding men over 50 is, can we build muscle? on a body that's over 50. Now, my opinion, right out the gate, you know, I mean, I make a living helping people build their bodies, helping people reduce their body fat. I'm gonna shuffle around the food I'm cooking here while I'm talking to you. I make a living doing it, so of course, there's some of you right out the gate that are gonna say, well, John has an interest in us believing that we can gain muscle because he wants to make money off of us. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. And some of you are going to have that attitude. And pretty much, you've already given the video a thumbs down. Please feel free to leave whatever comments, negative or otherwise, you have in the bottom of this video. <laughs> you know, on why you disagree with me or why you think it's impossible or why you think it's stupid. But here's the deal. As a trainer for the last 37 years, I have helped many men over 50, many, long before I ever hit 50, I was helping them to gain lean muscle mass. So I knew it could be done even before I got there. So I already knew just from how I was training them. Obviously, I was training them correctly. They weren't injuring themselves. And with the right attitude and the right nutrition and the right amount of rest and, of course, the right amount of intensity in their workouts, they still have to train intensely they were able to gain lean muscle mass. So what I'm saying to you today is, is this. Number one, first and foremost, you can build lean muscle mass past 50. If you've been training for 20, 30, 40 years, look, you can still build lean muscle mass after 50. Will it be 25 pounds of lean muscle mass? No, obviously not, that's not gonna happen. But unless you're on steroids or on hormone replacement therapy, of course. But look, regardless of that, if you're not on any hormone replacement therapy, the truth is, is you can still put on a few pounds of lean muscle mass on that physique. And the way you do it is this. You have to examine the type of training that you've been doing for the majority of your career. And in recent times, recent years, how have you been training? If you do the same thing over and over again, you're going to get the same result. If you are not presenting your body with a new, more intense stimulus, a reason to change, a demand, if you're not placing a demand on your body that you want it to change, then your body just simply won't change. It's not going to change. So what do you have to do? Examine your workout, start to open your mind to higher intensity ways of training. I didn't say every single workout, now mind you. Higher intensity, I've trained 75 year olds with more intensity than they've used in their workouts in 15, 25 years. But they've done it safely. I've used things like static holds, where they're just holding a weight in place, not moving it, but it's a heavier weight than they were using before. I've done things like had them superset, do pre exhaust. I've had them do things like take an exercise to the point of positive failure which they hadn't reached in years. So examine your workout, men over 50. Examine it. You have to look at what you've done in recent times. Decide, do I want to put on a few pounds of lean muscle mass in certain parts of my body or overall? And if that's the case, that's fine too. Realize this, it's not a death sentence being past 50, number one. Number two, losing lean muscle mass, which a lot of you seem to believe is inevitable, and a lot of you seem to believe it's going to happen, so why bother? So in other words, you're just saying, I'll just let it go. A lot of you who believe that are going to lose lean muscle mass, and welcome to the world of pain, because you're going to have pain. That lean muscle mass may have been the only thing keeping your rotator cuff, your shoulder joint in proper position, and keeping it pain free. It may have been the only thing keeping you a millimeter away from letting that disc slip in your back. And that one millimeter was the difference between pain or no pain. Again, 
Some of you listening to this that have a physical therapy background, I already know. You, you're, you've already checked out. You think I'm prescribing super heavy weights for everybody, and that's not the case. That's not the case at all. I am saying I'm encouraging you to look back on some of my videos that I've done over the last year and a half. I have about 150 videos up right now on this channel. Take a look at them. See some of the techniques that I mentioned. See some of the ways in which you can use some of the techniques, even if you're 50, 60, 70 years old. Use some of them. Open your mind up to it. Do it safely. Warm up properly prior to it, of course. Do it infrequently. Don't do it all the time. Just do it infrequently. I'm urging you. But whatever you do, don't give up on having more muscle mass. Don't give up on at least maintaining the lean mass that you have right now. And by the way, maintaining it is not some half-assed affair where you go in the gym and you just kind of talk your way through a set to your best buddy or some girl. You're talking to them while you're half-assing it through a set. That's not going to maintain a damn thing. So if anything, it's just going to let the muscle wither away. Your body will shape itself. Your body is the best record keeper in your existence. It will present exactly how you've been living recently. It will show. Have you been training intensely? Have you been still lifting a decent amount of weight? Have you been overeating? Best record keeper in the world. Forget about a log book and a diet, dietary log book. The best record keeper in the world, your physique, it'll show. Are you overeating? Are you under-exercising? Are you eating crap? It will show it. That's the best record keeper, what you're walking around in every single day. So men over 50, you can tell I'm a little bit impassioned about this subject because I just keep hearing an I give up attitude over and over again from a lot of you all. Either directly online on my YouTube channel or from some direct messages, some DMs on my social media. And here's the thing that you need to realize. I, first of all, I understand. I've trained people in your position. I've encouraged them to work a little bit harder with their doctor's permission. And I'll tell you what, currently I train a 78 year old man, war veteran, former professional water skier. He comes in with his walker several times a week and I drag him from exercise to exercise. I help him in and out of machines and, and give him barbells, dumbbells to move as well. That man said to me that when he stopped working out hard, he had more pain than ever before. He was only interested in maintaining or having more lean muscle mass because he knew it kept him out of pain at least for part of his day. That's just one example. That's it. Guys, i got to get back to my cooking. From my heart to you, John Hart, take it for whatever you want to take it as. But I'm encouraging you to have a great attitude, to shoot for more. Don't give up. Reevaluate your routine. Open your mind up to training maybe less days per week but more intensely on those days. Maybe taking a couple days a week to do low intensity workouts to go through the motions on purpose. But have a plan and execute your plan. That's it. From my heart to you, John Hart. Thanks for coming on by, Mr. America Hart. Hey, do you want John to be your personal trainer? Get your training and diet managed online by Mr. America himself. Go to MrAmericaHeart.com. It's in the link right here below in the video's description.